welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how i relax my hair so first of all i use this relaxer yes it's kit relaxer mm -hmm. <laughs> i know i know it's k for it's for kids i know it but this is kids relaxer it's the best relaxer for your head because i've been using this relaxer for years and the results are just always wow and they don't break my hair and nothing happens to my hair by the way no one pay me to do this video i'm just sharing with you guys because obviously i do it and it works for me and because i love my subscribers and i want to share with them what i use so the relaxer is just it's called just for me with a hat on it i don't know if you guys can see clearly i'll put a picture somewhere there so you can see it that's the one i use they sell it $5.99 in where I live, but before it was it used to be like three pound two ninety nine, $3.99. Now it's five ninety nine. That's because so many people are using it now. I recommend it to so many people, and now it's kind of quite expensive. So check it out and you know try it on. I used to use um olive relaxer, all those other relaxer, but it used to break my hair a lot. This kids relaxer is the best. I used to use the kids dark and lovely as well, but this one I felt it was the best for me so I'm using this comb as a tail comb just to pack the hair and I'll be using this what the, the uh, Dax black you know is a cream a Vaseline for the hair it's $5.99 it's made from US I'm gonna try this I've been using the ones like from Africa and stuff but I've never used the US brand so it's like a try that I'm gonna try it for all of you. So I'll let you guys out with you guys in a few months. How is this Vaseline on my hair? So I, that's how that's just the product I use. So when I'm washing my hair, mostly I use the the equipment in the video, the kit. So before I open it, I normally pack my hair. Guys, I haven't got any mirror in front of me to like see what I'm doing because my husband break my mirror the long one and then now i'm struggling i need to get him to get me another one but i just keep forgetting and every time i keep forgetting it's like i need it so i cut my hair into three hot cross bun you all know how hot cross bun goes it does not have to be in the perfect size you know it does not have to be in a clear line really when i'm doing my relaxer at home i, I don't really need to like focus on it because you don't want your scalp to be more sensitive so you don't want anything to do like brushing your scalp trying to make it clean and stuff you know that will make the relaxer enjoy your head so i use this pen you can literally do, not even use it, to be honest no sometimes i don't use it it's not like every time and then I hold the third one as well as a hot first one and I'm going to start working on this one so so after I've packed my hair I then go to the mixture of my relaxer so in there you have this the natural hair milk you know that's step three it tells you everything that you need to know and from them so that's the actual product that's the step 1a so I open it, sometimes I don't use glove, but I'm going to use glove as I go along, but not right now. And this is step four, you know, it's a natural hair milk, oil moisturizer and lotion. I normally don't use it, you know, it's a pre-relaxer leave-in conditioner. I normally don't use it, but if you like, you can use it. But I normally, I'm going to be genuine with you guys. Like things that I use for my hair is what I'm going to show you guys. Yes, it's there for you to use, but I don't normally use it. So this is the 1B. So this is the liquid that you pour into the relaxer and then mix. And this is the natural hair mix oil moisturizing lotion. I use this, yes. And eyes and shampoo. So that's the shampoo. That's the Two. and in here we have the menu you can check it out if you are not sure how to use it or I do I do know how to use it I use it on clients I use it on myself so I always use it so I normally just do it and check any menu so that's the stick in there to so mix the relaxer 
and you have your glove in the paper yes the glove is literally in here it's stick on the paper see there's two white gloves they are stick on the paper so don't be like i didn't see gloves no they're there on the paper so as i said to so you guys i normally don't use gloves so i'm using the one b to put into the one a i turn everything in it you know sometimes it tells you on the the description that you have to uh, put divide the the, the relaxer into two. If you like, you can do it. But this is how I do my relaxer at home. I don't follow that because obviously I just know how to do it. So I'm just mixing it. You mix it until it's cream, like really cream. So I do mix that. I do mix that. Mix, just mix any angle. You don't need there's no style in this, like any angle. Okay, it's creamy already. You can see it's like creamy, like paste because it's white. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys can see it clearly, but it's like proper creamy and pasty. You can tell there is no bulkiness in it, there is no lump, nothing. So I'm going to take my rings off. If you have any rings in your hands, you don't need to be married or engaged. Like, you know, some girls like rings in their hand. Just remove it. It's more safer. You don't need to. Oh. No one wants their rings to be fucked up. So I just remove it. And put it on. And then I wear the gloves. I mostly don't wear gloves, like not every time, but sometimes I do wear the gloves. So the gloves literally shows you which way and which way to do it. There's a shorter and a longer part, like the the so the longer part tells me that that's for the back and the shorter part is on the front. So mostly these gloves are big. For us that have tiny hands, sometimes when people have um, gloves that they buy for themselves to use, I do, but. I want to use this one to show you guys because normally I use this one as well. So I, I put, turn them around and just tie it. See how I was talking about? There is a long and short part of the glove. So that long part is the back and the shorter one is on the front. So then you know which one is the right hand and which one is the left hand. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, I know, I hope you guys are understanding what I mean. Like, well, that's the easier way to like know which one is which, you know. Okay, yeah, I've turned it round. So I just twist this. You can ask someone to tie it if you have someone in the house because I don't have people in the house when I'm relaxing my hair. I tend to just do it myself. Don't forget to towel when you wash your hair. So after I've done that, we straight away go to application. Application, put your hand in there. I start with the lines. Yes. I start with the lines. If I'm relaxing somebody's hair, sometimes I use brush to do so. But mine, I use my hand. I feel like it's more quicker and it will tell me what and what I've done. That's just my preference. So I cut the hair with my hand because you don't want, as I said, you don't want to comb your hair too much, your scalp to be sensitive. Then. You're gonna have a bone on your head. You don't want that. If you are like me, that have sensitive scalp, you don't need all that. For you guys that do natural hair, please don't say anything negative in the comment section because definitely I've tried to not relax my hair for months, and I do relax my hair every six months, every seven. Something it's just random, but it's not every every month. I relax my hair once in a while. So don't come and tell me what to do with my hair. I know it's not healthy, as you guys say, but my hair is good. Because of the products I use, I don't do too much to my hair. So after I finish the other side, you come to the other side. I always do the side before I do the middle. That's just how I relax my hair. Some people do inside and do the side at the end. So I just use my hand, cut it. Make sure you creamed it. 
you know, cream it, cream it, cream it, you know. So I use one cup of cream on my hair. For some people, you might need one and a half cream cup. You can buy it and mix it. And then the last one, I do the same. Round first. The reason why I do round first, I feel like when you round it, it's like it's gonna hold your hair. So your hair is not gonna be flying all, out, all over the place. So that's why I tend to do the side first. So that makes it, holds it and a little smooths away. So yeah, same process. Cut it, make sure I relax it. When I'm relaxing, I make sure I paste it on my scalp. Can you see the way I'm doing it? I'm dabbing it, not too painful because obviously it's your hand. You can tell when it's comfortable, when it's not. So it's not painful, it's not hard, it's just me trying to dab that relaxer so that I can get to some other part which I did not separate. Hold on. As I said to you guys, I don't have any mirror, but when you have a mirror that you can see yourself in, it's more helpful. While I'm doing this without no mirror, I'm just recording with you guys, you know. And that's how I do most of the time when I don't have mirror, I don't have time to grab the mirror. Most sure when you have kids, maybe your kids are sleeping, you just want to relax your hair so quick. And you don't have time to be setting up plays up and down because then time is going, you know. So when I finish, the one is more relaxer. I just go over them and just dab it on there and just rub through. So this is the time I rub my hand through the edge. You don't need to, but I do rub my hand through the edge because I, sometimes I trim my hair and you find out that my hair and the edge are very healthy because they are like bumper, like fat. So. Yeah, the relaxer is going on my skin because I'm doing my hair myself. You know when you're doing yourself, just wear something comfortable and something that you will know, like have a problem with if a relaxer go in it, you know, like your house clothes. So I'm just having a simple vest, which I wouldn't mind if any relaxer goes in. So that's how I do it. I just massage it. Massage it, wise massage it. If I have more, I put more, you know, more. And I just do that. Like, just hold the hair, put them in one place, and wait. Sometimes I wait, sometimes I don't wait. Sometimes what I do, I keep massaging. Like, when I finish, I go back to the back, massage, massage, massage. Sometimes three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, it literally depends you and how long you want the relaxer to stay in your hair and because it says on the thing that you leave it for five minutes ten minutes it's actually up to you i say because i don't want my hair to be really really relaxed you know like really die that would tend to make it vulnerable you know so i just left it for like few minutes and i wash it if i want i'll sit down and wait if you don't want to sit down and wait keep massaging I don't comb my hair guys like people do comb their hair I don't because as I said you don't want to lift your scalp too much because obviously the chemical is already lifting that scalp you don't want to lift it too much and have wound in your hair when you finish relaxing so I don't so I just massage it I just massage it I just massage it I don't comb at all, I just massage. Once you're massaging, you can literally tell if that hair is soft enough, you know. You can literally tell whilst massaging. I just massage. I just massage. Just massage. 
you know, I tend to massage everywhere when I finish. Just put the hair there so it can hold so you don't need really to drop on my skin at all time. You know. Massage. You know. So whilst you're doing this, it takes time as well. Like the minutes are going. So if you feel a little bit of burning sensation, go and wash your hair. Do not wait. Even if you just put the relaxer a few minutes. That's why I always tell people when you're putting the relaxer, there is no style on it. Don't waste time. Always make sure you just apply it everywhere. Try and apply it everywhere. You know what I mean? Like if you want to just do two, two bonds, like just in the middle and just relax the side and relax the side if you are slow so you can do it quicker because you don't want one side to be more relaxed than the other side you want them to be even so for you to have that even look looking relaxer hair always make sure you relax it quick you apply the relaxer really really quick like my back, my back, I can literally feel like it's okay, you know. I can feel like my back is relaxed. I can feel it. And that's how I like my hair relaxed. Not too relaxed, but you know, I can feel it. You know, I can feel it. I can feel it. Just keep mixing. If your head is not burning and you like it to stay long, it's all up to you. All up to you. You can leave it as long or as short as you want. It's all up to you and your preference. But for me, this is how long I left on. My hair is so dirty, guys. Like, I've not washed my hair for a long time. So you see how brown my hair is. So much oil in it, coconut oil, blah, 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 oil, and then my hair, it's brown. But yeah, that's what we want to wash our hair. It's good when your hair is dirty, when you relax it, then it does not burn easily. But when your hair is clean, yeah, that's just the secret. It burns, like you feel a burning sensation the moment you start applying because your hair is clean, you know, and you've worked too much with your scalp, you know, so the scalp is tired on its own, it's sore. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to wash it now and then I'll come and show you guys how I dry it and how I apply my cream and I'm going to be styling my hair after. I don't know if I'm going to put the video in here or I'll drop the video as a new video. But any one of it, you guys are going to see it. So I'll see you guys when my hair is washed. So for now, wash my hair. As I said to you guys, I used the um, step two and three. The step two, I passed the color correction, like a shampoo, the shampoo and color correction. So I used that as well to make sure I wash my hair well after rinsing the relaxer off. And then when I finish, I use the step three, you know, which is the conditioner. I rub that on and to massage it really well my scalp. It's boring, but I just keep massaging and for a few minutes before I ever finish. So when I finish, I just try to dry it. So I've tried to dry it. And now it's time for me to show you guys the next pro stage. So I use this big comb to blow dry my hair. Yes, because it's more easier. And I have my blow dryer, of, of course. And so I'm just gonna dry the hair and come through it. I might put that on mute, you know, because of the noise. Can be sometimes annoying. So I'm just gonna blow dry it, put it on high, and just keep coming through. It's easier to, to dry and do you see how that goes. <laughs>
wearing it so i don't come through at all it's not well dry but that's like some places like this place is well dry but some places are not well dry but that's what i want because of the style i'm doing next after this so i'm just gonna dry the back the extreme back is not dry <laughs> demonstrate to you guys how I do it sometimes well sometimes I just leave it to air dry yeah you have to be careful when it's air drying so after I finish I use my tiny comb that we used before so now we are going to oil our hair yeah we're going to oil our hair as I said to you guys I'm using the darts that one is what I'm using the US brand black so creaming my hair I just cream it randomly it's nothing too deep to say I pat special ways. No, I just do it randomly because I don't need to do it anything special. Just a cream because when I finish, I'm gonna still use the blow dryer, then it's gonna melt the cream. So I put quite a little amount. A bit of more amount in the roll when I plate. It's only because when I use the hair dryer, it's gonna dry it well. As you can see, I'm just gonna use the, you know, when I use the hair dryer, it's gonna get into the next roll. So that's why I don't dry it proper dry before I cream it. I try it like, but it's, you can feel a little bit of dampness on it, but not too damp. Remember that, because I'm literally gonna dry it again. A little bit, not too much anymore, but just to get the cream inside. So I don't do too much special things on my hair. The most important thing is the relaxer cream that I use and the Vaseline that I use I'm using that well normally I used to use magic blue it's not too good though but you know I used to use it and it used to work sometimes I use coconut oil as well it's just random things like there's nothing special when it comes to my hair you know but the product I used to work better is that but I just became lazy to buy more so I stopped using it when I went to get my relaxer cream I saw it, I'm like, okay, why not get it? So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use this um, oil moisturizing lotion. And because of the style I'm going to do after, after this video, because of the style I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to use this moisturizing lotion. Yes, I'm using my mama, obviously. Now scissors is fiery from me. <music> So when I did that, 
now I can feel it proper you know dry and moisturized so that's my relaxer hair that's my relaxer hair so I'm gonna style it watch out for the video in the next video after this yes so make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video if you love it and try this product that I've said that relaxer it's really good and you will tell me the result yes 